Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And today we're going to discuss about some questions which is mapped based on the CISA concepts. I know, I know, there's a lot of videos has been uploaded on a YouTube which talk about CISA question bank. But this CISA question practice is basically different from other because of two major reasons. One, in this video, I'm not only discussing about the question, I'm also discussing about the reasoning behind that of elimination. Second is how to think like an auditor while giving the CISA exam that also we're going to learn and third which is a one more important reason is I used to have a snacks in my sessions where which is called as summary points which is basically help you to connect the dots and uh, if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic and for more information do check my LinkedIn profile I'm already CISA along with that I'm also having other IC2 and ISACA certification so without wasting a time let's start with the first part thank you and so first coffee shot during the audit of corporation risk management program the auditor seek to determine the initial steps okay initial step the organization has taken to ensure risk management program is effective and aligned with the strategic objective. It means we're talking about the top-down approach. This step is crucial for setting the tone and direction of entire program. Based on the auditor understanding of effective risk management practice, which of the following would be the most critical aspect to be evaluated first. Now, the question talking about the most See, in the CISSP or in CISA or whatever the certification we have, okay, most we have one question and the second word is basically called as a best. So example like most of the people in the month of December go to Goa, that's a most, so group, okay. Best is basically stay at home, which is basically giving me a solution for a particular situation. So question here is talking about the most. Okay, so what is the intent of the question? The question say during the audit, the corporation risk management program we have. So that is the first problem statement. And uh, auditor is looking to determine the initial step of the organization taken to ensure the risk management program is effective. So they're also looking for effective and alignment with the strategic objectives. And this step is crucial for setting the tone because aligning of with the strategic objective is crucial and direction of the enterprise program or entire program. So based on the auditor understanding of our effective risk management practice, which are the following most critical aspect of evaluate first. So question talking about sequence also and talking about the most important part. So option A, organization appetite for risk as you determine the level of risk the organization willing to accept to pursue the strategic objective. Definitely any, any organization is basically start their services and all that. It is always start with the risk appetite. So first we used to have a risk capacity and then we used to have a risk appetite. So risk capacity is like a monthly salary you get maximum and risk appetite is a particular budget you have allocated for a particular function. So any kind of a project you basically start, you determine, okay, what is the maximum risk we can take for the particular project. So here also the most important part is risk appetite. Option B is impact of risk on organization focus on focusing on how the different type of risk could potentially affect its operation and strategic goal definitely required but without understanding the strategy risk we cannot able to understand the impact but still b can make sense c say the organization business case for a risk examine how risk consideration are integrated into business decision and operation which is a very very important part but again what is the level of risk need to be integrated it come from appetite until unless we don't have an appetite which is a first step we cannot go for the c part Option D, say organization investment in the technology to assess how technological solutions are used to manage and mitigate risk. Again, that is not a first step. So question was talking about what is the most critical aspect to evaluate first. If you want to check that is the program or program is basically aligned with the strategy objective. So answer in this case will be the A. You know why? Because it, until unless we don't have a visibility of the risk appetite, we cannot able to understand how it integrated we cannot able to evaluate the business risk and we cannot able to optimize the business function. And that is the reason I'm going with the answer A for alpha. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay. Second coffee shot. The organization has implemented a programmed edit check in its transaction processing system. 
and this measure is an example of see when you're preparing for CISA you must be familiar with type of control which is confirmed in the exam so we actually according to CISA we have a three type of control one is basically called as a detective control one is basically called as a corrective control and one is basically called as a preventive control the primary objective of preventive control is to prevent the incident our primary goal to install this to make sure any incident should not occur so first we always install preventive control the best example is firewall encryptions and all that see we install the firewall and in the firewall we basically ensure only authorized traffic to become like same like you know we have a doors on the house right we lock the door to make sure no unauthorized person can able to access my house that is the first objective of this control if someone tried to break the lock what i need i want the actions get to be traced so that is why we have a second control which is called detective control then we call the police and police respond to the particular situation is basically called as a corrective control like you go out by wearing a mask that is a preventive control then we check the temperature whether you have a covid symptoms that is a detective control isolate yourself from the family to make sure we don't don't have a further impact that is basically called as a corrective control so correct is basically used to correct the situation here the question talking about program edit check so program edit check is basically the most important parameter we have in the application until unless you don't fill that value it will not proceed to the next part so this control was not introduced to detect actually okay this control was introduced to prevent so in the application if you're having this edit check it means you cannot able to edit that so primary objective of this control to prevent the edit so example we have a input pages here so you have a username you have a password and you have a submit option until as you don't fill this username submit you cannot able to submit the button so action was created in such a way to prevent so option a detective control definitely it is not question talking about post incident it is not talking about correcting something so it's not a corrective control yes it is a preventive control because primary goal of uh, edit check is to make sure no one can able to edit the invalid values okay compensating control basically will become in the case when there is a absence of detective corrective and preventive or it is not effective so in this case the answer is basically c for charlie let's move to the next question use of a encryption software clearly mentioned so encryption encryption software by an organization to safeguard data against unauthorized disclosure is a primary example of again see we encrypt the data abhi mujhe nahi pata so i spoke in hindi so those who are english speakers or english listeners they cannot able to understand what i said so we have a user here and we have a user here user 1 and user 2 so we have a data here it is encrypted into the particular cipher text okay with the help of key so even i sent over the network if there is a attacker is there and he intercept this information they cannot be able to read so purpose of the encryption is to make sure no one should able to read that so question say use of a encryption software definitely it is not a detective control okay corrective control is not because there's no incident is occur it is basically considered as a preventive control because the primary objective is to make sure no one should able to read that because if someone download also he cannot able to read that because he need a password he need a key compensating will be come into the picture when the primary control is ineffective so answer is basically c for charlie okay c for charlie so we have some snacks here so if the question talking about detect the problem before they arise my primary objective is to basically we need to install this before it arise okay then it is a preventive control before they occur is a preventive control ultimate goal is to prevent the error omissions that is a prevent control antivirus is a preventive control because primary goal of antivirus is to make sure incident should not occur okay so prevent the event so anything question around this area the answer is preventive control example like we do the background check of the candidate it's a preventive control do you know that some people think it is a detective control but it's a preventive control because before we hire the person because if something he do after joining it is a problem okay hiring a qualified people so that we can able to do the correct activity having a proper documentation just to make sure there should not be any error that's a preventive control segregation of a duty why because if one person is doing everything then it is a possibility he can commit a fraud procedure for authorization that is a preventive control use of a encryption software that is a example of preventive control so if these keywords are there answer is preventive control okay so let's move to the next coffee shot thank you auditor focus on secure code review and software quality assurance which of the following best describe the type of control this activity represent now here the purpose of secure code review is to find the error 
purpose of software code assurance is to basically find the error so here my goal is not to prevent but 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 make sure we find some flaw is it clear so whenever because we so let's take example we're doing an audit why to identify gap so we can address the gap so audit is a detective control um we we found the code so developer wrote a code with the proper error check and all that but make sure before we release to the production we detect the errors so that's why we basically have some kind of a controls there so purpose of secure code review is to, is to discover the error purpose of software quality assurance is to make sure the the software is basically developed without any error so error is there so detecting error is detective control so it is not a preventive control okay be definitely detective control corrective control come into the picture but after the incident occur we learn from the incident bcp dr and compensating is basically used to compensate your existing control so answer is basically detective because we, the primary purpose of doing a secure code review is to discover the error not to prevent error discover the error we can correct the error with the help of control but primary objective of code review or software quality assurance is to make sure discover the error so let's move to the next coffee shot it's a very interesting coffee shot so organization implement a security procedure where it security people regularly review a system and network security logs the keyword is basically logs logs basically store the information after the event the primary purpose of this review is to identify and investigate any unusual patterns or entries that could indicate attempt to access the system without authorization it means there's a failure of preventive control this procedure exemplify which type of control again the incident is already occurred so it is not a preventive control we doing this to discover so we can able to improve because sometimes what happen when we implementing a preventive control right preventive control always static in nature whatever you add they will block but if you want to add new for the rule you need to have a strong detective control because detective control discover the patterns see example like there is a policy you are not supposed to browse social media 9 to 5 it's a static rule but we have to observe what kind of people are browsing so according to that we will update the policy understood so here the question talking about this problem statement is network security logs review system identify investigate these keywords are there so we discovering something so that is why it's not a preventive control because preventive control is something we do in the, from a point of view okay primary control itself is to prevent the incident but here it is not about preventing the access is already done and they have violated the authorization they can see that an attempt to access the system without it mean authorization is a preventive control but they someone try to bypass the preventive control i need to verify that so option a preventive control option b detective control option c corrective control and option d compensating preventive definitely we remove detective is to discover the fraud corrective is to correct the situation after the incident so that is not a question talking about because we still in a stage of investigation compensating will be come into the picture when the primary control is basically vague so according to the best answer we can see the answer is basically detective control now any question in the exam talking about hashing like example we generate the hash value of the data and we send to the user so when the person download the data he check the hash if there is a change in the hash we discover the suspicious activity whenever we sending a ping and get a error check that is basically again a part of a detective control any question talking about duplicate checking pass due reports review of activity log secure code review software quality assurance if the question is around this area remember the answer is basically detective control okay let's move to the next question okay before that i receive a lot of query on eco control eco control mean you pinging a system you ping a system you get a report revert back okay request time out and all that is basically also discovery for troubleshooting so if these keywords are there so ultimate goal in this case is to discover the issues okay so let's move to the next question thank you again interesting question during a comprehensive audit of organization information system auditor is evaluating the resilience and readiness of the organization to respond effectively to disruptive event incident so problem statement is we should have some kind of a control if the failure of preventive control is there and detective control is focus the auditors focus is on the organization approach to contingency continuity of operation planning and disaster recovery plan based on this focus which of the following best characterized these planning effort in the context of the type of control within the information system security now question talking about they want to check the resilience resilience mean if any downtime is there how you handle that particular downtime and is my organization is ready for disruptive event if happen how to react 
an auditor basically focus on contingency plan and based on the focus which are the following best describe this planning effort so definitely you you will definitely say preventive control but B, bcp and dr and incident response is not a preventive control it will be activate once the incident occur example my ups if power failure then on ups work understood so incident is already occurred threat is already executed about the power failure thank god i have a bc plan of ups so it will be switch so we talking about if incident occur how my plan is ready to respond to the event okay so preventive control is already failed detective control detect but question is not talking about detective it it talk about how you respond to the incident so that is why the answer is basically corrective because compensating also part of preventive detective even also part of a corrective compensating we use in that case when the primary control is weak example in vpn when you trying to connect vpn you enter the password along with otp or token based authentication so token based is the compensating control so compensating can be used with preventive detective corrective but in this case the question specifically talking about how you respond to the incident that is the reason we going with the answer corrective control okay is it clear because here we have a preventive control the virus basically bypass detective control we have a further to discover with the help of logs and the corrective control isolate a system immediately from the network okay and restore the system back to the production so that is basically part of the function let's move to the next question following the detection of virus infection within the organization system auditor recommends implementing a specific set of control aim at minimizing the impact of infection what type of control is the auditor recommending in this scenario again if you read the word it say virus infection so virus is basically trigger and system compromise within the organization on or auditor recommend implement a set of control to minimize the impact of the infection so infection itself is basically a incident so it mean there is already failure of preventive control which is antivirus so what is the next detective is det detect we also discover but question is basically talking about reducing the impact minimizing the impact so again we'll go with the answer corrective control so any question talking on minimizing the impact correct the error modify the processing system after the incident answer is basically corrective control because this is something we do after discovering the incident so any question talking about the contingency continuity bcp dr incident response file is deleted we have to restore from the backup ransomware has encrypted the file restore the backup all these things will be part of a corrective control team do let me know how do you find this particular coffee shot on controls and shall i make more coffee shot on csa topics map with this kind of a coffee shot or not your feedbacks are basically very important and i can see that lot of people have not subscribed to my channel i really put my hard work if you think it is worth do subscribe to the channel if you think it's okay then it's completely okay but i always recommend that okay this is a free education i'm giving without any cost okay so good day take care bye